So next we're going to take a look at the Asa High Security Cylinder. Fits the same size as a typical Mogul cylinder, but this lock is a lot different than a Mogul cylinder. A lot different going on, and you can tell that immediately when you look at it and when you look at that key. You can see that there's a set of cuts here across the top, but then there's also a set of cuts on the side of the key. So, um, big question is, people say, well, how do I, how do, what kind of machine do I use to cut those keys? Well, you can use a code machine or a duplicating machine, um, any, any standard duplicating machine. These sidebar cuts are, are cut in on your key blanks uh, factory already, okay? So that's one advantage. You'll see much smaller than a mogul key. And we'll talk about how to open these locks up. First of all, we'll go to the back, go ahead and remove our cam screws and get our cam off of there. cams off. Make sure and get that off. Now you're going to notice when you do that that you have another set of screws right there. Now sometimes these are security bits. In this case these are just Phillips, but they can sometimes be security bits depending on the lock. So then we'll um, turn this around and we'll remove those. Okay, then this piece removes right there, and you're left with that right there. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and remove this, insert your key, turn it to a quarter of a turn again, and then you're going to take your plug follower, and we're just going to follow it through. Now the one thing that you have to be aware of this is when you're pulling this out now, not only does it have your springs and drivers on the top of your lock, but now on the side of your lock over here is another set of springs and pins, your sidebar pins. You have two locks going on inside with this lock at one time. So when you get ready to pull the plug now, you're gonna to wanna to have your thumb right here ready along the side of the plug to catch that sidebar coming out, okay? So we're gonna follow it through just like we would a normal cylinder, but as it starts to come out, you're gonna see that there's a sidebar and we'll show it to you right there. Can you see that sidebar right there? So quickly, you're gonna to wanna to put your finger on it, hold that in place, follow it through so your springs and drivers stay inside your lock, and then you have your plug that looks just like this, and there is that sidebar right there. You can see it right here, it's got spring action. Be aware of it, you don't wanna lose these parts and pieces, and below this sidebar right there, are two extremely small screws. Uh, they're sitting down inside your lock right here and right there. Those are some sidebar side springs right there. So when you go to pull these out, you just wanna be aware of it so that you don't, you don't lose those uh, springs. So we'll take those springs out now. Sometimes they wanna fly out. Yeah, there we go, okay? Then at this time, you could go ahead and empty out your bottom pins. We'll put them right in the order they go so we can get those right back in. Okay. And so as you can see on this, on the Asahi Security, you're working on a six pin system. Now we still have our sidebar pins uh, and springs inside of there. You can see them right underneath there. So now the, what happens is the way you get those out is you remove your key. So carefully remove your key. And as you do this, these are gonna just start dropping out. And you'll see that you wanna do it close to your mat. And you may see as I pull these out, you see they're dropping down right there. And you're gonna get five. There are five uh, sidebar um, pins and springs and here they are right here now these are interesting they are not size they are all one size they don't have to be put in any specific order but they have these really small springs and you're gonna see these sidebar pins uh, are a little bit interesting as well you'll notice one side you can see right there is hollow the other side is solid 
So when these get reinstalled, the hollow end of these actually rides up over the spring. You set them right over it. Just like that inside the lock. Okay? So we'll show you uh, how to reload this. You'll always want to reload it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is put uh, this retaining ring back on just as it came off, okay? Always put that on first. Don't forget to put that on. And then we can go ahead and we can load our sidebar. Hold it just like this. And what I like to do is just place your springs all back in each one of those chambers. One, two, three, four. Whoops, we'll get that guy back on there. Five. Okay, you'll see why it's important to have that retaining ring on there. So it looks like this. Five of them. Springs are in there. And then you take the hollow end of these pins and slide them up over it. Okay? That's how they go in. Over each one. Okay? So we'll take the hollow end, make sure it rides up over each one of those springs. And like we said, they are not sized. They're all the same size. They just have to go back in right up over the springs. Okay. Then once I get them all back in and they, they're all moving good, just put your finger over them and kind of hold them and then insert your key. And if you do that, when you insert your key, it'll hold them all right in place where they need to go. That's gonna hold your sidebar in place, okay? So then the only thing left to do then is to put your small, those sidebar little springs that were on either side, those go on either side of this plug right there. Okay, right back in there. And then your sidebar goes right back on top of that. And you want to make sure that that sidebar, when you put it in there, countersinks all the way. You can look at it and make sure that it's countersinking, see, inside there. So that'll turn. Okay? So I hold that with my finger. Then I go ahead and reload my bottom pins. Okay? Chambers one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Okay? Now you've got to pay attention. Hold the sidebar with your finger, with your thumb, just like we did it backwards, pulling it back out. Have your key inserted, and you're going to turn it a quarter of a turn. And you just want to make sure that it slides right back in there and make sure the sidebar kind of goes in. Okay? And follow it through. And... There you go. Check it. It works. As always, pinch your key out. Okay. Then we'll lay our lock down. This piece has to go back in. Okay. We'll use those two small screws that we had. Then our cam, cam plate, Tighten those down. We'll test it with our key, but we know it's going to work. That is the basics. Not everything you need to know, but enough to help you get it open and get it back together on an Asa high security cylinder.